Peace, 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 my fellow PFGs. What's good? It's your man Sixfo in the building. And today we are going to be unboxing and giving a first impressions on the Amazon Luna controller. Shout out to the chat, by the way. What's going on, PFGs? Let's shout out everybody here. We got Chris in the building. Okay, Luna, I see you. I see you, Luna. So Chris in the building he says, yo, PFG, what's goody? Or what is goody? Hey, man, everything is pretty good in the hood, brother. Good to see you, PFG. Charles in the building. He said, hey, what's good with you, PFG? Darkstar in the building. What's good? He says, yo, how you doing, PFG? All right, all right. Oh, Darkstar said, I just ordered mine a few minutes ago. Okay, cool. So hopefully this will be a good impression for you. What I'm hoping for with this controller, really, I know it's going to be, I mean, it's their first time in the game, so I don't expect anything out of this world. But what I really hope for uh, with, with Everything else aside is just that it improves the gameplay experience that I've had with, uh, that I've been having, that I will be having, I guess, with Luna, because uh, I hadn't played with it yet. Um, but playing with other controllers, you know, the, the ones I've named earlier, there is just a little bit of lag. In, in Luna, the best comparison I can give um, with the lag that I experienced or the latency I've experienced in Luna, it's not terrible by any means. It's definitely something you can get used to. You can still enjoy your games with, uh, but it's like playing Stadia with the controller uh, connected to your phone via the, the Wi-Fi connection, right? There's just a little bit more latency with Stadia uh, using it over your phone, over your Wi-Fi. And I have good Wi-Fi. I've got gig up, gig down, you know, so that's not an issue I'm having or anything like that. It's just a little bit of latency there. Um, but again, it's something that you can get used to, but it is definitely noticeable uh, compared to playing to say the Chromecast or playing natively on your desktop via ethernet or even plugged in directly to your PC, you know, which is what I, how I play generally. Um, so hopefully it improves that and it gives the experience that you would get with the Stadia controller via the options I've named outside of the phone, right? Oh, wow, so that's pretty. So I just opened it up here. I don't have the best presentation option right here, but we're gonna work with what we got here. So I just opened it up and the controller is immediately presented to you. Oh, they don't wanna show it, they don't wanna show it. They're like, that's, okay, there we go. Yeah, it's pretty nice. You know, a little box, just controller presented right away. The controller looks nice. It looks a lot nicer in person than it does uh, in pictures. I'll say that for sure. Okay, so the box is pretty plain. They give you a little, uh, you look in there, oh, that's kind of blocking all that. They give you a little note here, letting you know, not a note, but a little instruction manual, a little booklet. It's, uh, folded paper there and then you got two double-a batteries something that I'm not happy about I would much have rather I would have much rather them uh, put in a lithium-ion rechargeable but I mean we can always work around that and put rechargeable batteries in it I just have to have you know a separate charger for the batteries and everything like that so that's not something I'm really into but hey we'll, we'll work with what we got here okay so this controller does look a lot smaller actually than the other controllers here. This controller is a lot smaller. So here it is right here. Here's the Luna controller. <laughs> right? Not too bad. It feels nice. It has nice grips on the bottom. The grips on the bottom are kind of similar to, uh, let's see, kind of similar to the PlayStation 4 DualShock controller. That's how it feels, similar to that. Yeah, that and the Xbox controller. A little bit more though, it's a little bit more actually. Yeah, it's a little bit more, in fact. Not very nice, I like that. Good feel, nice and solid, rigid. Let me see. Okay, a little, little, little clicky there with the uh, L and, uh, L, B and R, B, but I mean, not bad. The analogs feel good. There, the uh, triggers feel good. Analogs don't feel too bad. They actually feel like Xbox One uh, analog sticks. A little smaller though. Let me see. Well, about the same size. Yeah. D-pad feels good. Nice and clicky. The uh, face buttons a little squishy, but not too bad. Not too bad. I can I can deal. Buttons feel good. The controller feels a little smaller, but I like the way that it actually feels in my hand, to be honest with you. 
The controller is a, lot, a little smaller than the um, the other ones here. If you can look, like here's the Stadia controller. <laughs> I'm trying my best with what I got here. <laughs> that is a horrible presentation. It's, it's hard to tell, but this controller is actually a bit smaller than the other ones here. And um, it's okay though. But I, I would say if you have larger hands, you might have a problem with it. As far as the grip goes though, it looks like a pro controller, familiar, but the grip doesn't feel like a pro controller. It feels more like an Xbox controller, to be honest with you guys. Yeah, it feels more like a, uh, an Xbox controller. Absolutely. There's a lot of curvature here going on in the controller. Let me see, look at that. Yeah, it definitely, definitely takes it's almost a one-to-one -one Xbox controller. Yeah, yeah. I would say it looks kind of like a, a Switch controller to me, but no, it feels more like an Xbox controller, which isn't bad. I mean, Xbox controller, one of the best controllers you can get in the game right now, man. So that's not a bad look. But okay, so let me go ahead and um, hook this controller up. You know, before I do that, what we're gonna do is go ahead and get into some gameplay using what I'm going to use is the you know what since it feels like an Xbox controller we're going to go ahead and use the Xbox controller I'm going to use that experience with just a little bit of gameplay you know with the, the latency that I've been experiencing and um, then go from there hook this controller up and then play that same game with this controller so we're going to do that right now all right let's go okay so automatically like right away just tapping it it doesn't respond one-to-one, -one, right? It's noticeable. But again, it's something that if you anticipate it, you can get used to. But if I don't have to do that, I don't want to do it, right? Oh, no, I don't want to pass you up. Oh, I guess maybe I already have that. Okay. I need to play more of this game, by the way. Yeah, so like basically, you know, again, when you're when you're running around, it just takes a second for him to get going. You know what I mean? I said like a, not even a half a second, but just enough to where, in a game like this, you, you definitely want as much speed as you can get. I also experienced it in grid, but we're gonna go ahead and just stop here. Okay, so it says, congratulations, you're connected. Make sure you have your password and everything available and ready, even though, because you're gonna have to use an app on the phone to connect your controller. But, even if you're connected to the Wi-Fi on your phone, password entered and everything, Luna is still gonna ask you to get that password information verified, so just have that on hand if you don't already. I'm still using the same password that was given to me factory, so I don't know why, I should've just made it easy for myself, but I'm like, no one will figure this one out, right? <laughs> so, I'm still using that one. But once that's all said, it's actually really easy. And once you get that you know, taken care of, it's really, really easy. Uh, it's done, it's set to go. It's got this nice purple hue on there to show that you're connected. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but it's really pretty. I love the, the color scheme they got going on. That ring is really nice. So is it gonna work right away? Because what I just did is I disconnected the Xbox controller, took the battery out of there because I couldn't figure out how to get out of here with the Xbox controller for some reason. It just, it, it forces you to use their overlay when you press the Xbox home button, which normally like on the Switch controller, you press the home button, it'll, it'll let you exit out of games. But you know, whatever. Let's see if it'll let me use this controller right away. It does. So that's cool, I didn't have to back out of anything, nothing at all. I, I thought maybe I should close the app out, start it up again to give it a fair shot, but it looks like it connected, no problem. So you can literally swap controllers out on the fly, which is really good. All right, so let's resume and let's see. Oh yeah, you know what? That is a lot better. That, that is responsive. Now this is the kind of experience I would wanna have playing a game on this platform. Completely improved the experience. Right away I can tell. Everything is much more responsive there.
Oh yeah. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. And you know what? I was going through the library earlier. It doesn't have many games in the library, but there was a couple of games and I'm like, okay, I might have to give that a little spin, you know? This controller really does improve the experience. I've got to be honest. Because the, uh, the same amount of latency I was having with the, uh, the Xbox controller, I was experiencing with the Switch, um, with the mouse and keyboard. But with this, it definitely improves it. It's not perfect, but it's, it's much more enjoyable, much more closer, or much more close to uh, a native experience. So, yeah, I can definitely get into this. Oh, no. How are you going to do me like that, man? We're supposed to be friends. Oh, oh, oh. Look, I'm talking about the controller's better. That's just me, not the controller. <laughs> That's just me. Can I get up here? Okay, I can. All right. Yeah, this is much better. Much better. And I got to be honest with you. You know, I don't have the biggest hands in the world. I say my hands are about an average size. Um, it feels comfortable. It feels comfortable. It looks aesthetically like a, uh, a Switch controller, but if you look at the actual mold of it and, and turn it upside down, it looks on this side and it feels so much like an Xbox One controller. So, I mean, that's a great controller to go after as well. The buttons, the um, face buttons are a bit smaller. They're really small. Um, let me see. I would say they're about the size of the Stadia's face buttons. They're a little higher. And I mean, they're not they're not so squishy. They're not as uh, clicky, but they're about the same size and a little bit uh, further raised than the Stadia controller. So um, if you're familiar with that, I mean, it works fine. Oh, you can even use the D-pad on here. D-pad's not bad. Um, using it here though, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it in this game. No, I wouldn't use it. Oh, let's just keep, let's just keep doing it. Let's just keep going. All right. I don't know if it's just the game, but the the rumble in the controller is kind of light. Doesn't feel bad, but it's it's, it's, it's kind of light. I get him. <laughs> you can tell I haven't played this game much. No! I was just trying to say hi. <laughs> there we go. The battalion has been rescued. So there it is, y'all. I just played with this controller. Got my first impressions, did a little unboxing of it. I'm actually happy with it. I'm gonna have to play a bit more with it to see how comfortable it is over a long period of time. Um, it is a bit smaller than the other controllers. It's got a nice weight to it. It does take AA batteries, which is you know something I don't like. Again, I'll say the face buttons are very similar to the Stadia face buttons. A little bit higher. Not as clicky, but familiar. They're familiar in, in size. They're small like that. Um, the analog sticks are just like an Xbox One's analog sticks. So if you like that Xbox One, Xbox Series, it's going to have very familiar controller sticks to that, or analog sticks. The actual feel of the controller grip in your hand, and even the look of it, again, if you turn this around upside down, you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between the controllers if you just, you know, didn't know, right? Um, and there was no indicators like the Amazon logo on the back or anything like that. It looks just like one. Um, nice grips on the back. It feels good. Nice build quality. I'm actually impressed with the build quality for their first attempt. The D-pad, it feels nice when you're using, like when you're just clicking on it, but actual, in actual use though, I don't know. It feels a little squishy, so I don't know how good that'd be than like a fighter or, or even a 2D side scroller. Um, you know, the left and right bumpers are clicky. That's good, I mean, they don't need to be analog. You know, 
it do sound a little cheap, I guess, for somebody who'd be, you know, upset by stuff like that. But the triggers feel okay. They feel pretty good. They're more, they're a bit more stiff than the uh, Stadia analog triggers. I would say, yeah, they're actually the stiffest out of all of them between Xbox, PlayStation, and, and Stadia, I would say. PlayStation has the lightest. No, no, Stadia has the lightest. PlayStation next, Xbox, and this has the most tension in them, at least right now, right? Over time, well, who knows? And of course, the, the Switch analog, or not analogs, but the <laughs> triggers, they're, um, they're digital, so you don't have any kind of resistance or anything like that, it's just bow, click. Um, good controller so far. Good first impressions, I'm happy with it. It actually looks, again, a lot better in person than it does in its marketing images, so I'm impressed. I'll be playing with this a bit more. Definitely give Stadia, or not Stadia, <laughs> definitely give Luna a bit more time and uh, check out some of this catalog a bit, you know. Yeah, yeah. So there it is, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in with this live unboxing and first impressions video. You know what it is, Shaman64. Until next time, you guys keep it gaming. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.